Eurodas Consortium, which includes key players such as Leonardo, Yelty Group, Indra, and Hensolt, has introduced details about a groundbreaking next-generation electronic warfare EW system specifically designed for the Eurofighter Typhoon. This advanced system, developed in collaboration with BAE Systems, is set to enhance the Typhoon's survivability and situational awareness in the face of emerging threats, ensuring its operational effectiveness through the 2060s and beyond. A key feature of this new EW system is its ability to protect the Typhoon without necessitating any structural modifications. The system can be seamlessly integrated into both new aircraft and those already in service, preserving the aircraft's aerodynamic profile and performance while significantly boosting its defensive capabilities. This state-of-the-art system integrates several advanced technologies, drawing on Europe's strong expertise in electronic warfare. Among its cutting-edge features are Digital Radio Frequency Memory, DRFM Essential for complex threat characterization, DRFM technology allows the system to effectively identify and counter multiple threats in real-time. Electronic Attack Pod Interface This is crucial for suppression of enemy air defense, SC-80 missions, enhancing the Typhoon's ability to neutralize adversary air defense systems. Wideband Active Electronically Scanned Array, AESA-ECM, with enhanced power, this feature offers improved self-protection, providing the Typhoon with the capability to disrupt enemy radar and missile guidance systems. These innovations are in alignment with NATO's operational requirements, ensuring that the Typhoon continues to be a formidable asset on the modern battlefield, capable of handling complex and evolving threats. Designed as a direct replacement for the Eurofighter's current Praetorian Defensive Aid Subsystem, DAS, the next-generation EW system maintains the aircraft's performance and aerodynamic profile. This means no structural modifications are necessary for integration, ensuring both new and in-service aircraft can benefit from the upgrades without compromising their flight capabilities. This seamless integration makes the Typhoon a more capable, resilient, and available platform for air forces in Europe and the Middle East. The development milestones for this system have already seen significant progress. The Praetorian Evolution concept phase has been completed, and extensive flight trials have taken place. In 2023, digital receiver and band extension technologies were tested on a prototype, and by 2024, flight trials aboard an operational Eurofighter Typhoon validated the system's performance under representative threat scenarios. One of the standout features of the new EW system is its data-centric architecture. With a high-speed high-bandwidth infrastructure, the system transmits raw signal data to a central processing hub, allowing pilots to detect and prioritize multiple threats simultaneously and at extended ranges. The system also employs Cognitive Electronic Warfare, CW, driven by artificial intelligence and machine learning, to adapt dynamically to new threats, providing unprecedented operational flexibility. The current Praetorian system has been in service for over 30 years and has proven effective against a wide range of threats, from radar-guided missiles to infrared-guided ones. As part of the Eurofighter's Phase 4 Enhancement, P4E program, the existing Praetorian system is being upgraded to work in synergy with the Typhoon's ASA radar, including the European Common Radar System, ECRS. With the integration of this next-generation electronic warfare system, the Eurofighter Typhoon solidifies its role as a cornerstone of air defense in Europe and the Middle East. The Typhoon remains at the forefront of technological advancements, offering Air Forces a robust and versatile solution to meet the challenges of modern and future warfare. With its unmatched capabilities in threat detection and defense, the Typhoon is poised to protect the skies for decades to come.